Hi there, just showing you the difference between a regular print, which would be a loose print, and a mounted print. Um, these are some prints of my kids from last summer. These are some 8x10s that are uh, regular prints that uh, will go in frames eventually when I get to it. <laughs> um, these are some 4x6s, also regular prints. Another 8x10. This 5x7 right here is a mounted print, and it's simply called a mount aren't they cute? Simply called a mounted print because it is mounted on something. So this one in particular is mounted on black styrene. My prints also come available on white styrene, white mat board, or white foam board. And I recommend different mountings for um, different ways that you're going to display the image. So um, I always will ask, what are you planning to do with the with the print before helping you decide on um, the mounting. So, um, but um, overall, I think that um, mounting is really cool if you want to put it like up on an easel on a shelf. Um, the foam board mounting is really good for if you want to be able to cut it out or use it for like arts and crafts projects. Um, and then mat board is a little bit thinner, so depending if you're going to frame it, uh, mat board can be good as well. It also is something that you can cut with a, with a box cutter as opposed to the styrene, which uh, you cannot. So um, as far as should you get uh, prints mounted or not, um, smaller prints like uh, 5x7s, 4x6s, 8x10s, if you're planning on putting, putting them in a frame, um, they don't really need to be mounted because frames are going to have uh, glass on the front and some sort of backing that's going to keep your image nice and flat. However, for images any bigger than 8x10, I always, always, always recommend mounting because over time, um, prints are going to ripple or warp or bend a little bit within those frames. Um, because of moisture that's in the air or the way the gravity is uh, gravity or if the the seal of the frame is not really tight so um, mounting your print if you're going to be framing it especially a large print is going to guarantee that it's going to stay nice and flat for you in your frame so you've probably uh, been to somebody's house and seen they have a picture that's been framed for years and years and you can look in the frame and you can see that the print itself is kind of bending or rippling or warping and getting your print mounted before putting it in that frame is going to help that image stay nice and flat and crisp over the years. But like I said, for smaller prints, 5x7, 8x10, 4x6 especially, I only recommend mounting if you want to do something with it besides put it in a frame, such as display it on an easel or stand it up on a shelf or... Um, like I said, mat board and foam board mounting can be kind of cool for um, for some arts and crafts projects or if you're really Pinteresty. I had a client do um, get a really really huge print. They did it on foam board. Um, golly, I don't even remember how big it was, but she actually staple gunned it to her wall, and then her husband got some like reclaimed wood and. Um, then staple gun that to the wall around it to give it this really cool like DIY framed look. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, again, mounted. There you go.